We made it. Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2020. So 112020. This is a momentous beginning today. And I know there's a lot of talk about goals and what do you want to achieve and what do you want to create. And a lot of that comes from linear thinking. Some of it comes from the ego thinking, okay, we have to do more. We have to create more. We have to achieve more this year. This is uh, classic programming. So welcome back to the Deborah Peters show. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you and super appreciate all the likes and the shares and do leave comments because then it helps me know what it is that you would like me to cover and I can customize episodes for you. So I appreciate those comments. Absolutely. This next quarter, I'm going to walk you through a journey of being more you, asking you to contemplate and introspect, have a deeper communication with yourself, and I'm going to give you the tools to do that. And I'm also going to take you through a process of understanding the science behind or that makes up your ability to be consciously aware of how you create big things, big experiences, big goals, big shifts in your reality so that you actually can unpack it. Meaning when you understand how you get to something, then you can get to it in any scenario, in any part of your life. It's kind of like algebra, you know? You only got half marks when the answer was right, and then you got whole marks when you knew how you got the answer. So, with that said, I I would like to to give you some things to think about uh, as we go down through this journey. And one of the things I'd like you to really ponder is, who are you? You know, who are you being with you? And that's a values question. That's a relationship dynamic question with yourself. Also, I would like you to consider what it is that you would like to become. As we look forward, we don't have any energy looking back. So this is a whole new clean slate and you're moving toward a future that you may not completely fathom yet. So when we set goals, we typically can set those goals based on what we know we've done, right? It's a matter of what we're perceiving. So how much are you allowing yourself to perceive? And are you willing to allow yourself to perceive even greater than you have ever have before? So as we go through this process of understanding the science of creating a more expanded version of you, a more expanded version of your life and your life experiences, it does come down to being curious and being willing and being coachable to expand and shift your perceptions of reality. And everything that you've thought is possible in the past or impossible in the past being willing to let that go. And when you're willing to let that go, then it opens up the space. You know, there's a saying that it's the space, but it's the gap actually between the thoughts where the manifestation happens, where the actualization happens. Because when we're thinking, 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 we actually end up becoming counterproductive because we're white knuckling it. And that's the whole point of meditation. Giving yourself time to meditate at the beginning of every day enables you to just disconnect from that analytical mind so that everything that you've been asking for over and over and over can actually come through. Meaning you get the insight, you get the 
the idea, you get the intuition, whatever you want to call it, to place the phone call, send the email, to, to go to the store to buy something that you probably don't even think you need and then boom, there's somebody in the checkout line or in the produce department standing there that is the answer to what it is you're looking for. So being guided and being willing to tap into that guidance is super huge and powerful in this journey. So when you shift your perceptions of reality, then you actually shift your reality. And that willingness and that curiosity impacts your energy and it raises your vibration. So as you start down this path, then the vibration raises more and more and more. All right. Um, being connected to your higher self, making that your priority of every day, no matter how much you think you need to get done. You know, sometimes our to-do list actually distracts us from the one thing that we could do that would completely align us with everything we've been asking for. So be willing to deviate from that to-do list. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about you know, having this plan for my business growth and, and my life for say this next year, this next decade, being bigger, broader brush strokes than all of this detailed specificity because the unconscious mind, which we all have one, actually knows the path of res least resistance for us to get to what it is that we're asking for because it's outside of the realm of what our conscious mind knows. So here's a little bit of science for you. So when it comes to communication, 93% of our communication is unconscious. The large chunk is body language. I think it's like 55%. And then tonality is 38%. So 7% is content. When you do the math on that, you know, the unconscious mind, the 55 and the 38, you know, we're already hitting that tipping point. So what you want to look at is how do I get into that space of raising my consciousness to allow in higher levels of thought, which take up the energy quotient, which then attracts what it is you're seeking to create, to manifest, to realize, to actualize without having to grind every day without having to white knuckle every little success that you're seeking, all right? So there's a thing called our timeline. Now our timeline can run a couple of different ways and it's basically our relationship to time. It's how we store time in our perception, essentially. Some time, timelines run front to back and some timelines run side to side. Now, you can, you can manipulate that timeline. You can actually switch it, depending on how it's working for you. But I, we don't have time, I don't have time to teach that in this video. And I'm actually running a course that's starting on the 30th of January. It's called the Mind Mastery Revenue Accelerator Masterclass, and I'm teaching it online. In the first four modules, I break down the science of how to actually hard re-pattern re the wiring in your mind so that what it is that you're looking to do with your life can, can come with ease and can come with joy. Um, but I will share this much with you. Those timelines can be manipulated. They can be changed. That's what I mean by manipulation. I think in some cultures, we have this negative perception of the word manipulation. We always think it's bad. But, you know, if you manipulate a, a bone back into place, that's not a bad thing, right? That's a good thing. So, Manipulation can sometimes be in a positive sense. 
So timelines can be manipulated to better serve you and your ability, your relationship to time, space, and matter. So that's your ability to bring into fruition your personal goals, your business goals, your team goals, your sales goals, whatever they happen to be for you. And I've taught these to company leaders for the last 20 years in 16 countries. And I've taught certification courses because I'm a master trainer in this toolbox. Um, with that said, the, the challenge I think with a lot of people in why they end up rewriting some of their goals every year is because where they might place something on their timeline, like in their mind, they have a relationship, you have a relationship to time, space and matter. So you might put something on your timeline, um, but when you place it there, in your thoughts, then you have a tendency to build up all of these parameters around what has to happen first. So you don't have to do that. That's my point. And see, this is the whole point of just going for the end goal, the super huge, massive end goal, and not filling in all the blanks of the how it has to be come to fruition because you basically set up your own barriers <laughs> you set up your own blocks and it's really not necessary so as you as you work with your timeline it's really a tool and it's a way to get in charge and have mastery over how you run your energy which is how you run your thoughts and how you run your emotions and your perception right so if you look at a website, you know, a lot of websites, you go on them and then there's this little pop up, ask for your contact details and it scrolls with you when you try to scroll down the page because it's insisting on getting your contact details. That's how a timeline can work if you don't understand your own timeline process, which means that you can put the goal into the future but as you're moving toward it or as you think you're moving toward it what ends up happening is it's moving out further from you which is why some of those goals of yours have never come to pass and quite possibly quite potentially may never come to pass because of the way you've set it up on your timeline so there you have it it's there's a little bit of science on why it's so important to understand how you're running your energy and what your relationship to reality is so that you can have it work in its best way. So you can work you in your best way to serve you. And if there's ever a time to do that, it's now. You know, it's like, if not now, when, right? So that's my message for you on this New Year's Day. And the other thing I want to add to this is you can only ask for goals as big as what you already currently know is possible about yourself. You can only come from a place of what you know that you know. And all of the other possibility lies in that you don't know what you don't know. So when you're defending your limitations, and I know I talk to hundreds and thousands of people all the time who, you know, it's human nature to defend limitations. It's like, I am where I am because of this defense or I've been doing this for a long time, therefore I already know. And if you have that attitude, that's an attitude that will sink you because it's what you don't know that you don't know that is where everything, all the blessings are, everything you've ever been asking for but never had been able to acquire. And that could be your body, it could be your, your money, it could be your relationships, it could be your health, your fitness, your friendships, um, 
your business growth, whatever you want to label that as. At the end of the day, those are just uh, reflections of you, if you understand what I'm saying. So the thing is here is to utilize meditation as your number one tool, because what it does is it kind of gets you out of your own way and that opens up a portal within your mind to receiving and then you can start to work with your timeline and have your timeline actually be in service to you because the other thing that's stored on your timeline besides your future potential is also your past which is where maybe there's a lot of really good memories and perhaps there's a lot of pain and suffering when we are looking back at the good old days or what didn't work or the or the heartache or the heartbreak or the losses then we can't possibly be in present time which is the third component of your timeline so in your timeline there's a future there's a past and there's a present and whether your timeline runs front to back or left to right it is irrelevant the now portion of your timeline is like literally right here right now so practice being in the now just with your thoughts with your conversations when you're hanging out with people talk about now don't talk about the past talk about what you're creating because it's a verb okay it's not a noun you will forever be creating you will forever be a creator age has nothing to do with it all right gender has nothing to do with it culture has nothing to do with it you will always be a creator and the moment you stop creating is the day that you give it all up because we're hardwired to be creators all right so what have i covered january 1st 2020 take time to meditate so that you quiet your mind so that you can get into the gap between the thoughts and release any white knuckling any concept of grinding any ideal of being the one that works the hardest and sacrifices the most because that's an old paradigm that had its time you know it served us then but it certainly isn't serving us going into the future because that is just not how the universe works and you are you are the universe and so getting into alignment with that level of creative energy is the first step and that will come with your meditation create a morning routine for yourself have something to write down your intentions your objectives for the day and then be flexible because you don't know what you don't know and you might be asking for something that is easy to have because there's something even greater that you're leading yourself to in your process of self-actualization and then stay in present time during the day just stay in present time and when you're tempted to worry or fret or wonder if it's listen to your body and if your body tells you that that's a place of um, shutting down or negativity or it's pulling on your energy then you know switch it to present time because at the end of the day you are ultimately in charge of your reality and you are ultimately the one who's responsible for cho choosing your thoughts and changing them as the case may be and then the third thing is really understand that on your timeline being aware of where you've placed things on your timeline will come the more you work with it all right and, and just be present be now and be a creator that's really the key you're never stuck you're never stuck and you're never alone that's just a thought process and if that thought process comes up just move it to the side if you get stuck throughout the day if you're kind of feeling a little bit stuck go for a walk get outside get some air get under the sky get into a place of appreciation find a flower or a tree to appreciate and just watch your energy shift because appreciation 
is a higher vibration than gratitude and it's the same vibration as love so there you go all right my friends that is the beginning to this first quarter of 2020 january 1st 2020 i love that the first of the first of 2020 so bless you and just know that you're capable of anything absolutely anything anything that you put your mind to and your mind comes from your energy so dial in your energy think good thoughts count your blessings stay in appreciation and allow yourself to be guided because you don't know what you don't know all right i'll see you tomorrow have a happy new year bye